What's going on, God's people? Welcome back to another episode of the Living the Life Show. I'm your host, Columbus Code, and I'm so glad you chose to join me today for your verse of the day. Now, we've heard this verse before. I'm sure you've heard it plenty of times, but it's always good to get a little refresher. All right, so let today's verse lift you up. Let it encourage you. Let it inspire you to live your best life. All right, today's verse of the day comes from Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, and it says this. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. What we treasure, what we value most, will determine and will will drive us the most. See, if we cherish our relationship with God, it will drive everything we do. If we value our connection with Christ, it will it will channel every decision we make. You know, years ago, years ago, I coached basketball and I really, really like coaching basketball, really like it. OK, but then my son was born. My first son was born. And the moment I held him in my arms, I realized at that moment there is no way I can give my family 100 percent and my team 100 percent. OK, and I felt like they both deserved 100 percent. I just couldn't do them both. OK, there's a lot of coaches in this world that found a way to balance them both. I just knew I couldn't. And so what I decided to do was I decided to resign coaching so that I can commit 100 percent of myself to my family. Why? Because I valued my family more than I valued basketball. OK, and I'm not saying this to put down any coach out there who may watch this. I valued my family more. See, I liked basketball a lot. I loved my family. See, there's a difference. OK, so where my treasure is, where my treasure, my family was, that's where my heart was. And so I decided and, and, and I'm, get, I'm telling you, I wanted to coach the Clippers one day. That's how much I really enjoyed coaching basketball. That was my thought. Now, of course, the Clippers were terrible at that time. So I figured I had a shot. But now, you know, oh, well, <laughs> there goes that dream. Right. But the, the whole point I'm trying to make or uh, trying to sh uh, show you is that it's not like it was a a light decision to just throw basketball to the side. It, it was a decision I felt like I had to make because my treasure, my my heart was with my treasure and my treasure was my family. My treasure was my church family. My treasure is my relationship with God and, and how I handle things with my family. That's what I treasured. And because of that, I had to make a decision that took away something I really liked. OK, now think about this. A lot of things in life that we like or we think we like, we may have to step back from them when we actually look at the large scope, the big picture of things, because those things, even though we like them and they don't cause any problems in our life and, and they could be great things in our lives, they are minor. They're not as important as something that we should be treasuring. OK, if you treasure your relationship with God. This is the key. If you treasure your relationship with God, it will determine and it will drive all the other aspects of your life. I promise you this. If your heart is in the right place, if your heart is truly to serve after God, it will start ordering all things under that. Nothing else that nothing will take high priority that shouldn't. OK, so you'll start learning how to organize your life based on putting God first. When you treasure that relationship with him and you treasure being connected to him, everything else will fall into place. It's the verse of the day. So what I pray you do, I pray that you will just do a quick self-assessment. Look within yourself and start to see, do I have things in line in my life? Are things in order in my life? Am I treasuring the wrong things? And because if I'm treasuring the wrong things, my life is going to head down the wrong path. But if I treasure the right things, it will keep me on a path toward righteousness. It will keep me on a path toward going toward the father and a path that will lead to my everlasting connection to him. I pray that this verse blesses you. I pray that it encourages you. I pray that you will take a moment right now and share this video with someone you love. Encourage them to treasure the right things. I also pray that you will take a moment, click the subscribe button, click the, the bell so you never miss a video and join me on this journey. All right, guys, watch it, share it and live it. Now, let's get busy living the life.